I took a look at your code and basically compiled it and deployed it onto my Arduino and it runs fine. One thing I did notice is on line 35 here, this delay, you have a 10 here instead of a thousand. And all that means is that it's going to turn your LED on for 10 milliseconds and then turn it off for a thousand milliseconds. So as you can see, see here, I've got that running so you can see where it just, it, it's on really short period and off longer which is fine, but from what you're reporting, that doesn't seem to be your issue because your LED is staying on the whole time. I do suggest though that you go ahead and change that back to a thousand just so that you'll end up with the LED blinking more consistently as you troubleshoot. So here if I recompile that and redeploy it, and then we can go back and take a look, and now you can see how the LED's on for a second, it's off for a second. So I don't think there's a problem with your code. I can't see in your video how you have it actually wired up. It's hard to see how the wires are attached to the Arduino. But I was gonna just walk you through some troubleshooting steps here and maybe you'll be able to figure out what's going on. If not, if you can send me back a, a clean picture of your Arduino and how it's wired up and maybe I can see if there's something wrong with the wiring. But you'll notice here, we've got two wires. You wanna make sure that you got one of the wires is in this port here that is G and D ground, and you have one here next to it, which is port 13 on the Arduino. And then it's also important that your LED is in the right direction, which I think yours is fine because it's actually on, but you'll notice if, my, if I take my LED and turn it around backwards, you'll notice that it will never come on, and that's because the polarity of the LED is now in the wrong direction, so the current doesn't flow through it. So you want to make sure that that's in the right direction. Now you can see that. Now another troubleshooting step that you can take is if you look on your Arduino, over on this side, you'll see that there is a 5 volt and a 3.3 volt port. If I take not the one that's in ground, you want to leave that in ground, but if I take the other one, I unplug it and I plug it into say the plug it into the 5 volt one now you see that that's makes my LED stay on consistently and that's a good way to troubleshoot to make sure your LED is in the right direction because like I mentioned if you have your LED backwards and if I plug it in the 5 volt and it doesn't come on I know my LED is in the wrong direction so I need to turn that around and put this direction now I can see okay my LED is wired correctly because it's powered on so now if we move this back from 5 volts and we put it into 13, we'll see that it goes back to blinking. So here's another thing also to be aware of is the importance of that resistor that is between the LED and this wire. You want to make sure that's in place so it limits the current on the LED. So as an example, if I take this back over and I plug it into my 5 volts, so here we see that the LED is on constantly. And as I showed earlier, we switch the LED around, it won't light up. So again, we will make sure we have the right polarity so that it lights up. But here's an example, if I take this and I bypass that resistor and go straight to the LED, this really should, it'll probably come on really fast and go away, let's see. Yeah, so you see that? So that quick blink of the LED, I just run that LED, so it just burned out. And so now, this LED no longer works. It's not good anymore. And that's because I sent too much current through it by not having this resistor in place. So now I know this guy, he's trash. We just throw him away. So that shows the importance of having those resistors. So let's replace him now with a green LED. I'll throw that other one in the trash. Got them in backwards. Here we go. So now the green, which is awful bright for that camera, but you can see that that works. So that's another thing to learn is do you want to be careful and not use, uh, you want to be very careful to not forget to put those resistors in because you can destroy an LED that way. Another thing to know too is when you look at your source code over here, it has this, what is called LED built-in, but that is just a constant variable 
that on an Arduino Uno is 13. So I could actually take this and replace it with 13. I can recompile the code and deploy it out. And you'll see it still works because that LED built in is just a substitution for the number 13. And what that 13 means is that is the actual port number here on the side that we're plugged into. So as an example, if I take this and move it from 13 over to 12, so now I have my LED wired to port 12 and not port 13. But in this particular case, you can see that my LED is off. It might be in your case that the LED is on because that port right now is really set to kind of a random state. It may be on or it may be off. But if we wanted to use port 12, you can come over here and say, I want to say use 13, change this to 12 and say, I want port 12 to be set as an output. And you now in my loop, I can say, I want to take port 12 high and port 12 low. And if I recompile and deploy this code to the Arduino, I should now have, see now it blinks because I'm using port 12, which is the port next to it. And that's how you can use really any of these ports on this side of the Arduino just by using any of these numbers and make sure that number matches what's in your code. So give that a shot, but my guess right now is most likely your wire is plugged into the wrong ports on your Arduino. So hopefully this is helpful.